Hi again, this is Greg Hughes from 90 Second Website Builder. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use video on your website. It's pretty easy to do with the software. All you'll need to do is go to the Media Tools over in the toolbox. And I'm going to use the YouTube tool in this case. So we just click on the YouTube tool, draw a box of any size, doesn't matter. We're going to change the size of this object here in a minute. And we've got our YouTube object on our page. So now let's set it up. First thing we want to do is make it a particular size. So while this is selected, I'm going to go down to the uh, Properties Inspector, and you can see this is the object I'm working with. That's the name of the object, YouTube One. And I'm going to change the size of this video object to be something very specific. That's just a size that I figured out is the perfect aspect ratio for this particular video. So you can make it be any size you want, whatever looks good. And when I hit Enter, you can see over on this size the uh, object adjusted itself to be the right size. So it's now 768 by 432. So I'm moving the camera back over here and we'll put the video kind of where we want it right here. Now the trick is to play the right video. So if we double click on this YouTube object, it defaults to an address that's just built into the software. We don't want that one. I'm going to go get my own video just like you would get your own video from YouTube. So what we need is this address. Specifically what we really need is just this number that's the unique YouTube video ID number. And every YouTube video has a unique number. So really all you need is that number. So you can do it that way. Or you can just get the whole address. Whatever's easier for you. So first of all, let's switch over to YouTube. I'm going to open up YouTube. So here I am on a YouTube page, uh, the video that I want to play. And I can just simply grab the address to it. That's what this is right here. Like I said, all we really need is the number. So if I wanted to, I could just copy this number. That's the unique number. It will usually come after a V equals, in other words, video equals. And I could just take that number and replace it. Or I could just copy paste this whole address. Or a third way to do it, if you want to know, is you could go down here to the share button. You click share. And this comes up. And we could copy this address. It's a slightly different syntax than the one up here. But either one will work. What's common about them is this unique video number. You see this number right here, which is the same as up here, corresponds to this video. So either one of these will work. I'm going to go ahead and grab this one, do a control C or copy it. And then I'm going to go back to 90 Second Website Builder and paste that address right here. And that part's done. So far, all we've done is draw a box on the canvas, make it the size we want, and tell it which video to play. And we're pretty much good. But I want to do a couple of other things. I'm going to change some settings here. I want to make sure it doesn't loop. I want it to just play once. I want it to play in high quality mode. I also want the user to be able to watch it as a full screen video if they want. So I'll click that. I like to use modest branding so the YouTube uh, logo doesn't show. We'll hide the player controls after the video starts. That just looks a little nicer. I do not want it to autoplay, so I'm going to uncheck that. I also don't like to show related videos. Again, these are my preferences. I don't want people to, at the end of the video, have the option to leave my website and watch another video. I just want them to watch this one. And showing info is good. Showing controls is good. So we're going to leave that just the way it is. Click OK. And I'm actually done. I can actually publish this page and it's ready to go. If I click F5, we can preview it. That brings up a preview of this page and you'll see there will be a video here loading. There it is. Basically, I'm done. I've just added a video to one of my pages in 90 Second Website Builder. But before we end this video, I want to show you a couple of other tricks. First of all, if you double click on this object where you saw all of these settings, you may have noticed that there's a tab here called Lightbox. This is a really cool trick and I'm going to show you how this works. This effect allows us to put an image on the page so that when people click on the image, the video will pop up in a light box. Well, what's a light box? Well, I'm going to show you that. You'll see and you'll probably recognize it because light boxes are used on the internet pretty commonly. First thing we want to do is decide what our image needs to look like. That is the image that people will click on to watch a video. So we're going to select this. We want to display the content inside a light box, meaning the video. That's what it means by content. And let's just find an image. It can be any image I want to use. So I'll just find anything for now. You might want to have something that's maybe a play button or a picture of a video, whatever. I'm going to choose this image. It looks like we're clicking a button. And so that image is going to be what we call our preview image. So I'm going to click OK. And you'll see, in fact, this, there's an image here instead of the video itself. Something like this. There we go. So that when this image is clicked on, it will actually play the video. Here's what that looks like. So we're going to preview. 
And what happens is this becomes a trigger for a light box. Here's what a light box looks like. We click that and up comes our video in a light box. Now a light box, as you can see, is a pop-up window that appears in front of the web page. The rest of the page in the background, you'll notice is sort of grayed out. It's out of focus on purpose because the light box is coming forward. So this is just another way to display the video I want people to play. It just works like any other YouTube video. They could press play or they could close it. And when they close it, the rest of the page comes into focus. So it's just a pop-up window and kind of a cool effect. Again, really easy to do. It was a matter of selecting that image. And if we don't want to do that, we can double click on it and disable that. Click OK. And now we're back to just using a YouTube box, a regular YouTube box. So that's kind of a cool effect. But here's another really cool effect. And to show you this effect, I'm going to open up a blank page in 90 Second Website Builder to show you how this works. So I'm going over here to the Site Manager and clicking on this New Page button. So we have a new blank page to work with. Now this is really a really cool effect. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, again, grab a YouTube object, draw a box. doesn't need to be very big in this case. And this time I'm going to go find a different video, not the one we had. So let's go back to YouTube. So here I am back in YouTube, but there's another video I'm going to get. And you'll see why I want to use this video. It's really quite dramatic. And let's see, I've got the address to it here just to save time. Here it is. It's a video of space and this view of the earth. It's a really cool video. And so I've got the address to it right here. So what I want to do now is I want to take this address, I've copied and pasted this, remember, and go into my YouTube tool. This is the video we're going to play. And I'm going to play this sort of uh, space age video. I do want this to autoplay this time. Let's not show the related videos. Let's use modest branding. None of this will really matter too much. We will loop it this time. High quality mode. You can decide what you want to do. Here's the real thing I want to pick, and it's this right here. I'm going to fill the entire browser window. This video is going to become the background of this page just by checking this box. Now, this is something interesting too. You'll notice even though I've checked this box, I do not need this video object to be enlarged. It can be any size. In fact, it can be very small and out of the way up in the corner. It doesn't really matter because by checking that box that I just checked, this video will become the background of this page. Watch what happens when we click F5. We're going to preview the page and you'll notice that the background is fully 100% video. And there's our dramatic space earth view video. Very cool effect. We can actually put objects out here on top of this video because it's in the background. That's what happens when you check that box. So this is just a really cool, easy way to make background videos for your web pages. So I hope you enjoyed that. I hope it helps you. Working with video is easy, whether it's with YouTube or Vimeo or any of the other media tools. But working with YouTube videos, super easy to add videos to your web pages in 90 Second Website Builder.